Hello guys, in this tutorial let's see what is a Rooks polynomial. We'll be going through it. It's the easiest topic and it's a 5 marks question in your exam guys. It's really the easiest question to be clear. Okay, the general equation will be like this. It is of the form 1 plus r1 x power 1 plus r2 x power 2 plus and so on up to rn x power n. I hope everyone is clear with this. So, initially the steps will be like this. The question will be something like this. I'll be showing you a small question so that it will be clear. So this is the question. It will be something like this with some numbers or some x's. X bars with empty boxes. Okay, I'll be just showing you the questions. Don't worry, we'll be solving two to three questions on this topic because this is an important topic. Basically, you, need, you will be dividing the whole, all the squares into a big square of some size. 2 into 2 or 3 into 3 or 4 into 4 or 5 into 5. Even you can take the exact diagram even. That's fine. But if you decrease the size, that's going to reduce the complexity of the final equations. The equations may be same, but the complexity will decrease. Okay, that's fine. Initially, R0 is equals to 1. That is fixed, guys. So, R2, sorry, R0 is 1. So, going through R1, R1, 1 indicates the number of elements. So, we'll be selecting single element at a time. So, that is equals to number of elements. So, R2, once we are going through the example, you're gonna get a bit clarity. That's fine. R2, R2 is the pair of elements such that the first element, if that's in, okay, let us assume that this is, okay, this is the first element. I took this first element as this. This pair, this pair of element sh that should not belongs to these both as well as row as well as column and it may exist in these three places like that you need to search for all the combinations that will be the second r2 if you go further to r3 you need to select the first element such that the second element is not belongs to that row and same situation with the second element too and the third element in the completely other place so these three are the third pair and so on up to infinity once you got r not r some r n is equals to zero it will continue to zero okay you'll be getting some clarity once we are going through a problem okay this is the first problem let's take this as a problem this is any basically a one two three four five one two three four five five into five square box where there are most of the occupied places are excess x so we're gonna remove those x's and we're gonna form the squares so we can clearly form a 2 into 2 square here and 3 into 3 square here so it's really clear and easy so now it's time to continue the problem 1 2 3 4 first initially let's solve the left one then we're gonna go through the right one okay that's fine then let's start it so i told you r naught is always fixed one and r1 is the individual elements one one possibility, two, one possibility, three, one possibility, four, one possibility. So we are getting four possibilities. That is one, four, one, two, three, four. That's what I written. Just I wrote them shuffled. Okay, that's fine. R2. I told if you take the first element as three, then you have you don't have any chance to take one or four. You have only chance is two. And if you take one, there is no chance to take two as it is in the same row and 3 in the same column so you should you have no chance to take 2 or 3 your chance is only to take 4 so 1 comma 4 and 2 comma 3 are the only two possible combinations okay don't write like this i wrote 1 comma 4 and now you will be taking 4 and you will be writing 4 comma 1 that is similar to 1 comma 4 guys remember that so there are only two possibilities whenever you try to for r3 r3 can you take third element if you take 1 4 where is the third element? How can you take it? So, if it is 2 into 2 matrix, you're gonna travel up to R2 only. If it is n into n matrix, you're gonna travel up to Rn. Remember that small key point. So, from R3 to Rn, all values are zeros. I hope everyone is clear up to now. So, the equation will be 1 into x power 0 plus 4 into x power 1 plus 2 into x power 2. That's it. This is the first small box equation. So, next, further continuing it, the second part of the diagram is like this and now we will be finding R0, R1, R2 and this is 3 into 3. So we, are, we will also have a chance to get 3 into 3. 
so R3 also will be will be having a chance. So let's go through it. R0 I have told you it is initially fixed one, and R1 individual one two three four five six seven seven possibilities we have seven. Okay, I hope everyone is clear up to now, and there is no confusion. So we are clear with R1, and now continuing to R2. R2 I have told you the pair combinations. If you take nine, you will not take ten and eleven. You can take seven ones, eight ones, five ones, six ones. So you already got four combinations. I have wrote them first. Okay, that's fine. When now you come for ten, you cannot take nine, eleven, seven, five. You can take six and eight. So I wrote six, eight. That's fine. Then for eleven, this and this are closed. So you have only chance for seven and five. So I wrote eleven comma seven, eleven comma five. That's fine. Then whenever you are going for seven. You have the only chance is that for seven I wrote nine comma seven ones and eleven comma seven ones. So seven comma six is left. So I wrote seven comma six or six comma seven. That's fine. And the rest thing is five comma five comma eight. So all the two power two power two paired combinations are only ten. I have just wrote them. So further continuing for three combinations, guys. Please listen it carefully, guys, because this is a bit confusing from here in three possibilities. So. Here it is given nine, ten, seven, five, six, eight, eleven. So take one, take any one of them. So I took nine. So I should not collect from this direction or this direction. All are closed from now on. Okay, there are no elements here. Assume like that. Okay. So now I, if I took seven once, so these are going to be blocked. So only those two are available and everything is blocked. Nine, seven, and the rest one is six. So nine seven six is one combination. Nine seven six is one combination. And next time, I took the same nine because there is no possibility in this row. So I just pushed it up. Here I took now. Okay. So there is no possibility for this. There is no possibility for this. So I can take nine five eight, which is a different combination than the previous. Nine five eight. These are the only two possible combinations. So the value is two. Whenever I try for R four, it is not possible as there are no four rows or no four columns. Okay, that's fine. So we we will get this equation: one plus seven x plus ten x square plus two x square. So the final result is multiplication of these both equations will give you the result. It is something like this. If you want, you can even multiply them and show the result. That's fine. I hope you understood. Okay, let's go through one more small example. Okay, this is a three into three matrix or a or a division box which. R not is always fixed one. R one is one two three four five six six. And R two, we got a combination with three, three five three six. Yep, three five three six. When we take with two, we're gonna get two four two six. Yep, two four two six. When we go with one, one four one five, one four one five. Yes, that's fine. When we go with four, we have already written four two and four one. So four five four six are the left out combinations. When you go with five, you're gonna get repeated. When you go with six, you're gonna get repeated. So the maximum possibilities are eight. Again, when you are going through R three, let's go through this now. Okay, let us start from this side. Let us take one initially, so that this row and this row are completely blocked. Okay, they are not there. Then take R four. We have a chance for R four. Then this and this are blocked. So there is only five left. So one four five is a combination, and let us take the another possibility from two. Okay, two. Let's try from two. This and this are closed now. So we have a possibility to take four ones and six ones. Six four two. Okay, I hope now you understand. You have got a small idea on it. Okay, if you further want to try for three, so this and this are closed. But if you take the second. Element then where from where you gonna take the third element? It is not possible. So we are having only two possibilities. So one plus six x plus eight x square plus two x cube. I hope you understood how I am solving these problems. Even he may also give an uneven shape like this. He may give like this, and he will be filling with numbers here, and he will be giving just like this. So you need to complete this diagram first by making it a square. Okay, so we're getting three into three matrix, and here assume that there are x's, and with the first case or say first first problem or second problem, similarly solve this. That's it, guys. By this, your second chapter is going to finish. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching the videos. Thank you. Thanks a lot.